Yeah. Look at that lady balancing that bucket. Look at her. This is a pretty decent one that I've come across. So that side, that is literally raw sewage. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Lola Chila and this is a beautiful day today. I'm going to show you an area of Nairobi that is pretty much, not so much talked about, but it's one of those informal settlements right here in Nairobi. So guys, I'm talking about Tasha Kijiji and I'm going to be going around with a local here who is called Dan and he's going to be telling us a little bit about this particular area and how it came about. So guys, kindly subscribe, like, share, comment. Let me know exactly exactly how you feel about my content and supporting whichever way you feel best so guys this is Lola Chila let's take off Yeah, <laughs> 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 Ah, cooking spot. Yeah. Mm? <laughs> <laughs> well, many uh, like you know, I but about the Viga Palay, you know, to what you grab. So guys, we are in a place called Tasia Kijiji. Tasia Kijiji. Now this uh, this place is uh, just right behind Tasia Estate. Uh, Tasia One Estate, yeah. And uh, they border each other. And as you can see, we're just following this one lane. I don't know where it's going to lead us to. But this is Tasia Kijiji. A lot of uh, the houses you find here are made out of corrugated iron roofs. And you'll notice something very typical is that a lot of the houses are houses come businesses. It's easier to do business that way where you sleep on the behind part of the house while the front part is a business running. So, Tasia Kijiji definitely is an informal settlement that uh, borders other inf informal settlements like Kayole and it's just right across pipeline right here in Embakasi. <laughs> So, hapa nyumba ni, ni, ni unapatana how much if it's a single room, single ya mabati, room, ya mawe? 1,000, 1,500. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. Zikotu hivo. 1,000, 1,500. Yeah. Uh, alafu na maybe double? Double ni 2,025. Ah. 2,500. Security now, Ikoje? Security, we've seen Yuri Sana. I can't Police, you tembea tembea usiku? Police, Ama. you tembea. Okay. Uh. So he tells me her house here can go, that is for a studio unit. It can go for, and that is 
without water and other amenities because most of these places the toilets are outside bathrooms are outside they are makeshift so a unit here would go that is a single room here would go for around 90 90 dollars no 90 dollars no sorry uh nine dollars nine dollars yeah that is pretty much affordable so like any informal settlement uh, the sewerage uh, the sewer system is not so good it's not so good as you can see but uh, people live here people survive people make do with uh, what they have Wait. I think I used the wrong side of the path. Wondering how to cross over to the other side. Hello? Ah, for a little bit, I'll go and let you So, this is the school right here. It's called Lions Education Center. No, one, two, three, four, ABC. That's a school right there. Ningependa kuingia kwa at least area moja nione vile imepangwa nyumba bafu toilet vile zimepangwa nitakupeleka ah nitakupeleka hata nitakupeleka mingi si moja okay <laughs> so what is still a problem here huko unajua na huko maji si wala si line ile ziko yes so maji mtungi mnanunua pesa ngapi hivi Mtungi mtungi moja ni 10 bob. 10 bob. Uh -huh. Alafu unajibebea ukibebewa? Ukibebewa ni 20 bob. Okay. Uh -huh. So one jerrycan of water ni clean enough kukunywa? Eh uh, inaweza kunywa lakini bado si maana imepitia kwa sewage si clean. Eh uh, <laughs> so unaenda kuchemsha ama watu wengi huko. Watu wengi huko sasa anakupanga tu hivyo. This is a power line, I think. Ni estima hii. Eh, hii ni Kenya. Ni ah. ni kwa mto. Mhm. Naenda sasa nione mtu wa pale. Yeye hivi kuonyesha sasa nyinyi kwa tukiingiana. So guys. Sasa. Kwa poa. So this is a young lad. Mm, helping the parents fetch water. Hmm. So some units look really good, some do not look so good. Like that. Mm. Yeah. There are people who live right inside here. Mm. You can see children just trying to do their best to have fun. This shamba in Akai Likwa Mzuri Sana Kablawatu Ingye. Nakai kulikuwa kuzuri. Kulikuwa kuzuri sana. Mm. Mm. Look at that side. That is literally raw sewage coming down. Mm. Mm. So I think this is the one informal settlement that I've been to. The first one for my blog whereby uh, the upgrading seems did not happen. Because there was a time our uh, former president Uhuru Kenyatta started a project where there was a slum upgrading uh, thing going on. And that's why I did a video on Kangemi slum and it looks good because the cabros are laid. You can see pipeline is also looking good. But this one is just the typical Kenyan slum. And I think it was left to be the way it is. So guys... This is more like a central point. This is more like a central point, as you can see. Very central. Mm. A lot of littering going on. And this is raw sewage. I don't know where it joins, but yeah. And a makeshift bridge. Nairobi River. Ni? Nairobi, Nairobi this is River. part of the Nairobi River. 
Yeah. Guys, all this goes to spill at the Nairobi River. I'm being told. So I'm with Dan here at Asia Kijiji. Dan is taking me around the place and uh, he manages a few houses right inside here. And uh, I've never been here, but uh, personally to me, it's like no surprise. It's a typical informal settlement. And from what he tells me is that um, it, it was owned by one of those government corporations sometime back, that is the land. And then after the main project was done and finished, we're just entering uh, to show you the way exactly the setup of the housings are right here. So let me show you. So this is a typical setup of how the houses are looking like, you know, corrugated iron roof, timber window, timber door, wooden door that is. And then the toilets and bathrooms are outside. Uh, typical of informal settlement is how they look like. It's a shared toilet and that is a shared bathroom. Yeah, this is how everything looks like. So you get your water from the house, carry it with a basin or a jerry can, one of these, and then you go take a shower right inside there. So as you can see, this is how it looks like. This is a storied um, corrugated iron roof house houses yeah. as you can see i wonder about the stability of the top floors but let's go check it out These are the steps I'm using. Uh, exactly, this is how it looks like. So we are currently going up a hill. And uh, one thing you should note about informal settlements in Nairobi, these are just places people choose to stay because we always say Nairobi belongs to no one. It's a city, definitely. So people here just come to look for work, uh, make the money, invest back home in our native lands or rural areas and then from there you know life goes on so you can see businesses going on there Wow, look at the kiddos, they're so happy playing. This is a church, and clearly, see, there's a drum there. What about our job, Sai? Hello, what's the job? Playing with a dummy doll. That's a dummy's head. Money na kani katu narudi mali tu metoka. Bar kunaka kwa mungu na fala. So several businesses inside the eye. We have movie centers, we have uh, salons, we have barber shops, we have second hand shops where they sell second hand things, household goods, we have uh, churches. <laughs> I don't want to say it loud, but I say the mad did go a kind of okay. I catch a good one. I'm really good. I'm gonna love for to know Ziwa. Oh, if I could, I guess I'll be doing one and a half. Oh, well, yeah, so the water piping in this area is not good but apparently the government had tried to do something about providing water to the residents but a few individuals have taken over to sell that same water to 
Sim Residence. So guys, we are still in Tasha Kijiji. Tasha Kijiji. Wow. So guys, this is how, you know, the houses are built. I can see the floor is timber right there. Uh, this is the last point. Oh, na kuna watu wanapita na kuna watu wanaishi hapo chini. Eh, hizi mtu wana wana. Wow. Yai hapo tutapitia hapo. Hapa ta, hapa ta. Kuna najua kuna watu wanapita. Chance mimi tu hapa nichukue shot. So guys, we are literally in the middle of garbage but also someone has made a really nice garden right over there you know right over there and he even has a cow feeding right there and then we have sewage flowing to Nairobi yeah, river and then we have corrugated the houses right over on the other end wow Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> no, guys, we have to take a detour. <laughs> yeah, detour. Now, a common misconception about people who live in informal settlements right here in Nairobi is that they are poor. They don't have money. <laughs> you know, I came to realize it's such a big misconception because a lot of the people who live in informal settlements let's say like half are usually trying to just save up for other projects you get because now if you're paying a thousand shillings for a house that is around nine dollars for a house and maybe you're working a job where you're paid um, you're paid eight hundred dollars you see what happens it's quicker and easier for you to save up invest in these other projects and then after you're done you get to move maybe to a better house and all that you know instead of spending a lot of your money on rent because dan tells me there are people who live here but they drive big cars and uh some of them will even move and they help them move and they move into better areas and then they're surprised because you know you just were assuming they're here because they don't have money yeah so it's never even about the poverty aspect some People believe in it just okay. some people believe in uh, less wastage and more investments. And it's a concept that uh, some few people in Nairobi and in Kenya will not will not agree with because they're like, why would you want to live in such a place so that you can save up money to be able to invest in a much better place quicker? But to each their own, yeah. You're a man of the year, but we don't know. General Wholesale Shop. Look at that house, the design. Mm. There are people who do put effort. So this is a water point. This is how they look like. Mm. 
Asa hii panda ya ya yetu imekuja. Mm. Inaitangwa tasia kwa Masai. Ngoni kwa Masai sasa. Tasia kwa Masai. Ndio maana tunaona hizi ngombe hapa. Ziko mingi hivi sasa huko wanaelea. Ndio walikuwa wanaishi huko kitambo. Okay. Sasa walikuwa wanalisia ngombe zao huko. Mhm. Chaji yao hivi. Naona ukitoa kwa chaji. Kwa hapo ni matajaji ya Masai ni walianza na hapo. Chaji yao Masai inaitwaje? Si naitwa iko tu hapa nitakuonyesha tujenda hivi. Okay. Eh. Ndio alianza huko. Hakukua na chochote mimi nikuja huko. Okay. Hiyo ni like when hivi? 2000. Oh. Hakukua na chochote za watu wakaanza kujenga tena. Ilikuwa tu dumping. Ilikuwa tu dumping. Eh. Pande hii ile ilikuwa tu ya NS kwa kwa miaka paka lami. Mm. Ile ilifunikwa. Ile ni watu wa kijenga wanaacha mchana kidogo. Mm. Hivyo. Inaendelea tu na kuacha inaacha ikafika lami. Mm. Na lami. Wee. Tambo kutikuwa lami. <laughs> Yona hii barabara ilikuwa eh. mbili. Eh. Hii sasa hii barabara ndio imepita hapo. Oh. Hii sasa hii ilijengwa. Unaona manyumba ilijengwa hapo. Hii mm. barabara. Ile barabara ilikoesha huko. Eh. Sasa tumekuja naye sweet. Tukepitia hapa ndio kupitia hapa kienda hii. Okay. Yana mbaka yona. Ilikuwa lami. Ilikuwa lami. Eh, watu wa dump wakajenga jenga. Hmm. So huko ni kwa Masai. Eh huko ni kwa Masai. Tasi ya kwa Masai. Kuna itangu watu hivyo. Mhm. Mm Ndio alikuwa ameoni hii ranch jo aliuza. Uh -huh. Lakini ilikuwa bado ya NSF. Watu bado ni part of Tasi ya kijiji kwa Masai. Eh. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Uh -huh. Sasa ini Children will always find a place to play I love that There are some few spaces up there For children playing Compared to pipeline where I saw children struggling To find a place to play Here I can see there are spaces at least Outside the gates Oh my god We're going up a steep hill so this is a street lighting set up by the government at night when you come here it's pretty bright for security purposes oh so this is one of the places i was telling you about you see how it's decorated everything there so you just there's a chart there the door you pay oh it's so even indicated you know 20 shillings or 30 shillings uh, 20 shillings you know so even the timings there are indicated of when the games will be playing so this is how it looks like sasa is it ndani ni record kidogo ni za record kitu kidogo ndani nionyesha vile inafanana ni si hadi ni kitu mbaya ndio ndio record one is really am feeling eh oh lakini mbata kwa sala mbichi so this is how it looks like guys this is how it looks like as you can see ships and then the screens are there so and the, how many screens are there in that one two three there are three screens and this is a pretty decent one that i've come across so that's a pretty decent one no wonder the charges asante no no the charges that's a pretty decent one because usually most of them are small cramped uh, no windows that's a decent one they've tried to make it you know comfortable so so those are screening points hmm? so they do show matches football matches uh, people are into this 
European Football League. And also the screen movies too. The screen movies too. Hile ni estate gani uniambia? Hii ni estate iko pande ya doni ni kuna kambo nilikuwa hapo nilikuwa ya koto sasa wakati aliambiwa ame alijenga hizo manyumba lakini iko pande ya doni sasa sasa hivi ile mtu so guys we're back to the same same point but on a different side and this is typical of a lot of Kenya urban planning whereby we have a posh estate on the other side and then a wall and then an informal settlement on this other end wow so the houses that are next to the river like this one the sewage river this is how they're built sacks of soil as the foundation so that just in case the water rises they are able to be absorbed <sighs> so one thing i've noticed about uh, uh, tasha kijiji is that it's very it's it's a grainy area uh, i expected that i'll see a hundred percent informal settlements but as i'm looking as you can see look at this area it more or less resembles pipelines yeah there's a point here where someone is selling soda you know, I know. like so I'm quite i'm quite thirsty i need to get something yeah. to drink it's a hot day in nairobi and, uh, I want to carry water. so let me just pick something right here Oh, that's like a mini mini mat. Asante, asante sana hata nikoni mesa huu mambo ya maji. Wewe si baridi vile? Kuna ile baridi kabisa? Si baridi. Okay. So guys, thank you so much for watching and uh, kindly like, share, uh, comment, uh, let me know exactly how you've seen this area of Nairobi, what you think about it, whether you live here, leave me a comment, let me know uh, what's so good or not so good about this particular place. And also, let's build a community around this channel. My name is Lola Chila, watch the next of my video and I'll see you in the next video.